Welcome. Here we are. It is balance. I'm Ron. Good to have you here. We are going to do say just balance. We're going to do balance. What what else? What else do we do? Start out with the march. I'm going to go easy here. You're going to need your chair. You're going to need your chair. You're going to need to stand up. We'll have some stretching at the end where we'll be sitting down, but all the balance exercises will be up, 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 up. And start bringing that knee up just a little bit higher. If you can, opposite arm, opposite leg. That arm is for balance with that leg coming up. And up. Take your time with it. Come off the heel first, then the ball of the foot, keeping everything pointed right straight out in front of you. Alignment, alignment, alignment. It's like location, location, location. Bring it up. And up just a little bit higher. Feel that stationary leg, foot flat on the floor. And up. Balancing on that single leg just for three counts. And back down again. Up and back down. And we're good. Grab your chair. We're going to walk around the chair. You can hold on to the back of the chair if you choose, if you need to. We're going to start out with just a nice, easy heel-toe gait around the chair, going around, picking the feet up, rotating as you get to the corners. That's the vestibular system. Getting the head working, don't looking, not looking down at the feet. Keep the eyes out front, rotate and around. Being able to make that rotation without getting dizzy and around. And back the other way, we have to unwind after we wound up going one way. You can take your time out in front. Don't look down at the feet. Look out in front of you. This is what you'd be doing if you were out and about. When you're walking outside, you don't look down at your feet. Well, you shouldn't look down at your feet as you're walking. You should be looking out in front of you, scanning, making sure there's no obstacles in your way. Next one we're going to do is exercise. Bring up the heels and back down again. Concentrate on ball of the foot. All the way across, feeling that pressure under the great toe, as well as out to the outside under the little toe, up and back down, not letting the legs roll out to the outside, bring them in and back down a couple more times up, hold and back down one more, one more, bring it up, stay there and back down, back to our chair. Walking on the balls of our feet. This is an agility move up and around. I'm going to hang on as I do this. The most important thing here is that you get that feel for walking on the balls of the feet because it is how you have your quickest movement. If you need to move quickly, you may be just on the balls of your feet and you need to be able to get back to a center position. Take a couple, one more time around. I'm going to go for three, and then turning it around. Whoa, getting dizzy here. Eyes out in front. If you're getting dizzy, take your time. Just sit down or something. You've got a chair right there. And one more time around. Hanging on to the back of the chair, or if not, up to you. Balls of the feet or not. All right, next, we're going to take Big steps, starting at one corner of the chair, pick the foot up, step it forward, and come up with the other foot. Rotate, leg closest to the chair, again, up, forward into that lunge, and then bring that back foot up. Weight shifting, single leg, leg goes forward, you're staying up, and then picking up that back foot and slowly bringing it in. One more time, up. Whoa, and out and forward. Going back the opposite direction again. Foot closest to the chair, up and step. Bring that other leg in, making a forward or a rotation 90 degrees. Foot closest to the chair. Let's try this again. Up and up. Rotation, leg closest to the chair. Step forward, pick the back foot up and down. And last one. And back. Here's the fun one. If you're comfortable doing this, hang on to the chair. 
and do the walk backwards, around, step. Bring that leg around, rotate the torso with it. You always want to be right over your base of support. So right here, even I'm making that rotation, I'm right between the two legs where all of my stability is. I've got both legs down, I'm in the middle. Step back, weight shift in the middle, pick it up and back. Going back the other way, same thing. Going backwards is something we stop doing and then we get really uncomfortable and the brain doesn't know what to do when your body starts going backwards. And that's what we got to remind it. This is what you do. This is how you stay upright when you make these moves. And back and back. And again, you very well may have to go backwards. You may not want to, but you may get pushed back. You may trip. Whatever it is that takes you backwards, you need to be able to stand up and stay up while you're doing it. All right. Next one. Going out, we're going to do a uh, yes. Forward lunge. Out and back out to the side out and back heel comes up first going backwards this time back on the ball of the foot heel goes down heel comes up off the ball of the foot to the middle out to the side same thing heel comes up first pick the foot up step out i need the chair and straight down you're right between the legs this is an important piece right here when you are moving side to side, you need to get back to right over your base of support. Up and out. Core does that. Legs does that. Brain does that. And back in. All right. See if you can do it. Just tapping the toe and back in. Again, hold on to the chair if you need it. It's up. Tap the toe and bring it back in. If you're using the chair, don't lean into the chair. Just hand on tips of the fingers on it or hovering out to the side and bring it in and then back, tap, back in, back out to the side, up, out, and forward, tap, and bring it back in. Here we go. Next, out front, tap the toe, pick the foot up, rotate it around to the side, Tap on the side, going around to the back, toe tap, whoa, back over. I need the chair and forward and bring it in. All right, other side, same thing, starting with that lunge. So we're, progress we're progressing into the move, getting the brain slowly ready to work into that really harder one of being the toe around to the side. Weight shift out, you're between the two legs, and back in, take it back, bring the torso back, right over between the legs, back up to center, and then step out, back in, and forward. Back to the middle, tapping the toe, out, and back in. Tap to the side, and in. This time you're keeping yourself over that stationary leg. You only have support from one leg. You need to be right over the top of it. Tap the toe, bring it back in, out to the side. Up, out, and in, and right straight forward, and back. Next piece of that was forward, to the side, tap the toe, and back, tap the toe. Out to the side, and tap forward, and bring it in. Harder one is hang onto the chair to start out with this. Leg forward, around in a half circle. Tap the toe behind you. Don't let the hips roll. Keep the hips forward, working the muscles and the joint, getting it nice and flexible. Tap the toe forward. Again, back. Stationary leg has a little bit of bend in the knee. And up. As you're doing this, see if you can pull your hand off that chair just a little bit using just the fingertips and back around. You're going to feel all kinds of work happening in that stationary leg. Same on the other side. I forgot to do this last time. This was the last piece of it. Tap around to the back, keeping that stationary leg, foot flat on the floor. And back and up. My left leg is not very strong today. Up and back. 
So I'm just kind of lightly holding on to that chair when I absolutely need it. So I don't tip over one more time. Back. Tap. And around to the front. All right. Staying on that side, we're just going to pick up the foot. Out and in. Two. Three. Keeping the torso upright. Four and five. Stationary leg. Little bend in the knee. Other side, same thing. Knee up. One and in. Stationary leg. Little bend. Two. Muscles working in the front of the thigh. Three. Back in. Shoulder blades are back. Staying in that neutral position. Four. Out. Five. And back in. Over to the other leg one more time. Knee up as high as you can get it. Push just hanging down there and then extend and back. Out and in. Hang on to that chair. Three and see if you can lessen up the grip on it just a little bit. Four and five. And then back to the other side. Stationary leg. Find it. Foot's flat on the floor. Little bend in the knee. You're right up over the top of it. And then extend that leg. One. Weight's going forward. You're not going with it. Two. Three. Four. And five. And bring it in. And set it down. One more and we'll take a break. We're going to do forward lunge. Grabbing onto the chair if you need it. It's up to you. Completely up to you. We're just going to go out. Weight shift between the legs. And back to the middle, staying with that same leg, out and back. So the first thing you do, pick the heel up, lift the ball of the foot, step forward onto the heel, down to the ball of the foot, coming back the opposite way and bring it back. This is a gait pattern. When you walk, this is how you walk or should. Heel comes up first, ball of the foot, lifting the leg using those hip flexors and down and then Back again, one more time. Up, take your time. Heel, ball of the foot, push back on that single leg and to the middle. Same thing backwards, heel up, stepping back onto the ball of the foot. Right leg or front leg does all the work, up and back in. So up and back, up, bring it in. Step down in the middle. One more time. Back, ball of the foot, heel comes up, and right there. So now it really becomes a gait pattern. We're going to step back, and just like we would if we're walking, heel comes up first, ball of the foot, lift the leg, slowly move it forward, heel, ball of the foot. Going back, opposite, pick it up, step it back. Stationary legs doing the work. Everything has to happen through the core, keeping you right over that leg. One more time up. Heel first. Off the ball of the foot. Hang on to the chair if you need it. Don't look down at your feet. Forward. And tap. Coming down solid, just like you were walking. And then up. And back. Other side, these are progressions into getting into that full step, starting with just that forward, off the heel, back to middle. Again, up and out. Doesn't have to be very far out. Make sure you're right between the two legs, pushing off the heel over that stationary leg as you bring the foot back. Out. Heel the ball of the foot. And pushing back in one more time. Forward and back. Reverse. Stepping back. I was using the wrong leg. And not yet. Go back. I'm having problems here. And forward. Stepping back. Lift the foot up. Bring it into the middle. Find that balance on that single leg. Back and up. One more time. One more time, looking right straight out in front of you, back and up. And then we go into pendulum swing. Step back, 
You're going to go just like you're walking in slow motion and down. Off the heel, pick it up, stepping back, putting yourself right between the legs. Heel first, ball of the foot, step out, find your base, you're right in between, and then weight shift back over that leg, picking the other foot up, stepping back, and down. Smooth. Grab a drink of water. First set in the books. I really like that pendulum swing. Foot up front, foot back. Because it is the gay pattern. If you were going to do this, it would be up, forward, down, and then up. And if you can do it this slow, you are going to be so secure in your walking at a regular pace. Because this uses way more muscles when you're trying to do it in a slow movement like that and controlling every bit of it. All right, next one. Heel raises, grab onto the back of your chair. We're gonna get a little more aggressive with it this time. So hands on the back of the chair or hover over if you want, if you need, or if, if that works for you. Coming up on the balls of the feet, heels up, five, four, three, two, one, and back down. Balls of the feet, inside to outside. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, and back down. This helps some people going arms out to the side. Five, four, three, two, one. For me, I have to work the insides of the thighs to get that foot down flat. One more time. Up, two, three, four, five, and back down nice and slow. You should be feeling this in the calf muscles, back of the, of the lower leg. Next thing we're going to do is arms on the shoulders as we go up, arms up overhead, hold, and then coming back down. Arms come down as the feet come down. Work it together. Smooth movements, synchronize between the upper and lower body together up. Full extension, hold for three seconds, and then back down again. Up, overhead, reach out, and back down again. Getting tired. One more time. Up. Half muscles are feeling this. Whoa. And back down again. Whew. All right, we're going to give the calves a break. Grab onto the chair if you want here. Well, here's what we're starting with. Let me show you first. We're just going into a split squat. Down, right straight down, and back up again. That's it. Down and up. As you go up this time, it's a pulse. One, heel goes down, heel comes up without touching the floor. Three, four, and five. Take it down. You're right in the middle, right between the legs, right straight up. One, two, three, four, five, and back down. All right, let's have a little more fun with it. We're going to take and do a weight shift. So as you bring that heel up, coming forward this time, instead of being right in the middle, put the weight over that stationary front leg and then bring it back. So it's up and back down. Up, heel up, you're going forward, a little bit of a hip hinge here, moving that weight right over that stationary leg and back down one more time. Up and back down. This time, as you go up, reach one arm out and bring it back down again. Whoa. So if you're having problems with balance, move that back leg out. Make yourself a wider stance so you got a wider base of support behind, underneath you. Out, reach, and back down one more time. Out, course tight. Get over that front leg and bring it back. Let's throw more weight out front. Hoe up, going forward. Lots of weight shift forward. Back, heel is up. 
and then back, arms behind you, toe up on that front leg, and reach forward. Back. Again, if you need the chair, use it. Use the chair as much as you need it. And out. And back again. And this time, arms at the side. You're just going to use them for balance like you're walking. Up. And see if you can get that back foot up off the floor. Hold on a stationary front leg. And back down. Wait. Momentum pushes you forward. You stop. And you bring it back again. So if you do get bumped from behind, whoa, you can come right back again. You can say that too. Whoa. If you get bumped from behind, that's okay. Totally okay if you say that. All right, starting out with that split squat. Opposite leg back. And we're going to go into just a pulse. One, two, three, four, and five. Staying between the legs. Back down. Heel down. Again, bring it up. One, two, three, four, and five. One more time. Heel to the floor. One, pulse it. Two, calf muscle. Three, four, lifting that heel up. And five, and back down. Forward weight shift. Take it out, coming over that front leg. Arms not yet. And back again. Whoa. Up. And back down. Take it forward. Let the weight go forward. And bring it back in again. One more time. Out. And back in. Let's get a little, little weight shift out in front of us with that arm. Bring us out just a little bit more. And back. It's having to stop more weight. Now, everything's going forward. You have to stop and bring it back in. Out and back in both arms. Take it back. Heel up. Back toe up. Not back toe. As you go back, the front toe comes up. Arms behind. Weight shift forward. And bring it back in one more time. Up. And back. Back foot up off the floor. Up. Keeping yourself upright on this one. And back. Bring it up, foot's flat on the floor. That front foot, just solid as a rock. Everything underneath, lots of ground contact. And back down one more time. Up. And back down. We're going to take one leg at a time, open up the hip. Leg up, leg out, knee toe in the same direction. Hold on to that chair. Hold it out there. Bring it back in and down. Don't let your hips twist. You want to stay right out front. Working these core muscles, these outside of the hips, to hold you stationary as that leg goes out. You're right out front. In and back down. Because what happens is if your foot gets out at a diagonal, you need to get it back in. You want to stay over your base of support, which is that single leg. Otherwise, if you follow that other foot out, you're going to go out with it. Momentum's going to take you off, and you're going to be going forward onto your nose. Out. Hold that hip straight, looking right out front. Bring it back in one more time on this side. Up. Out. In and down, other side. Up like this. Out like this, in and down. If you're comfortable with it, hand over the top of the back of the chair, up, out. This one's hard. This one's a really tough one to do on a single leg. Bring that leg up slowly, out to the side. I need the chair, in and back down. Stationary leg, little bend in the knee. Pick that other foot up, out, knee, foot, both turn. Bring him back into the middle and down. All right, next, next. Big, big step forward. If there's some, so false prevention is 
seeing or obstacles in your way and you being able to navigate them. So you're not looking, all of a sudden you look down, there's something right in front of you. You need to take that big step and be able to step over. Hold onto the chair if you need to. Up and back again. Stick. You may not have to pick your leg up that high, but get up as high as you can. Step forward and then set it down slowly. Push back. This is those lunges we did, those split squats. It's the same thing. Up, but higher. Lifting forward. Weight shift as between the two legs. But step out as far as you can. Back and back. Other foot, same thing. Up and forward. Up and back. This is navigating. If you have areas where the ground is uneven, sometimes you have to pick your leg up a little higher to get over a berm or something. Up. Whoa. And step forward. Up and back. We're going to take it into a gate. So we're going to take a long step. Pick the foot up. Reach out. Heel down first. Weight shifting. Picking up that back leg. This is everything we've done up to this point, all put together into a walking gait pattern. And forward, up, and forward. These are so important. Grab onto the back of your chair. Grab on. You want to get out walking as much as possible. You don't want to be afraid to walk on uneven surfaces. A lot of people give up walking on uneven ground, um, afraid to go on it because they're afraid they'll trip because it doesn't have a solid solid base. You can make that with each foot that you put down. You're solid, you're between your base of support, and then the next foot goes down and you get even and aligned. All right, just grab onto the chair. We're gonna do a little vestibular system thing here. Around, looking forward, hinging around. Use the hands to take you back. To the side, don't lean forward. This isn't from the hips. This is the entire body. Up to the side. Because if you do get bumped, if you do start to, to, to fall to one side, you're not going to just fall from the hips. You're going to get pushed to the side. And you need to be able to adjust to that. The brain needs to know what to do. Remember, you don't adjust for balance. Your brain does it for you. It has to know what to do, though. And go back the other way. A little bend in the knees, keeping the feet flat on the floor, getting used to this, this movement, looking out in front of you, not down. If you can, if you can, if you're comfortable with it, do it without the chair. Back, it's a much smaller movement. It doesn't have to be big. Just teach the brain what's happening here. Weights forward when you're standing, weights towards the ball of feet, goes off to the side, goes back keeping your feet planted on the floor. The minute you pick one leg up, you're gonna really start to shift off in momentum on a direction. You wanna be in control right here, right in the middle, around. Even if your feet are one in front of the other, like you're walking, doesn't matter. You're still gonna have that control. Around, two feet on the floor, and up, around, and back. So all of that is really dependent on the ankles. When you do those movements, if the ankles don't have enough flexibility in them, you're not going to be able to do this. When you go off to the side, the foot's going to come up, the other one's going to come up, and you're going to be leaning. You need to be able to get those ankles to stretch. So let's stretch the ankles. Circles, bring them around. One way, then back the other way. This stretch is so important to have, have flexible ankles. It is your base. And if the base can't give just a little bit, the rest of the body's not going to either. It's just going to go wherever, wherever gravity takes it. Other side, muscles have to be flexible. The muscles have to be strong. Going around one way. And then going around the other 
and back down. All right. Alternating lateral step and push it back. Don't let the heel drop. Staying on the one side. It's out, pushing back, coming back to the middle. Leg goes out. You weight shift between the two. Bring yourself back. As that one leg is coming in, you're over the stationary leg. Again, you're teaching the body to do this. You're teaching the brain what has to happen. Vestib or vestibular system. Um, proprioception. The body feels where it is in space. It feels that it's leaning off to the side. It knows that it's got to bring you back up into center. Out. But you have to teach it that. You have to wire that in there. The less you use this, the worse it gets. That's why you need to be able to do it in a protected area. Out on the ball of the foot and bring it in. And if you can, pull it up, single leg. Foot stays planted firmly on the floor on that stationary leg. What wants to happen is the foot wants to roll to the outside. You can't let it. You've got to bring it down as fast as you can. And back up, hold, and back down. Other side, same thing. Grab onto the chair. If you need to, just be standing behind the chair, holding on with your hands hovering over the back of the chair on this one. Out, up and in. Out. Push back. So you're creating this momentum, pushing you back, but knowing how hard to push, so you don't just push yourself right over. Out. And the more you do this, the more comfortable you get with just going out to the side and coming back in, out, and back in. This time we're going to go a little wider with it. So step up, step out, go into a squat, push off that leg coming into center. So up and out, going into a squat. As you're coming up, drive with that outside leg, push, coming off the ball of the foot, bring yourself up to center. A little more momentum out to the outside is what this is. Up, keeping that foot flat on the floor. Down and up. Weight shift out to the side. Weight shift back in the middle. Other side, same thing, out, down into a squat. As you're pushing up, that trailer leg comes in, nice and slow, down and up. Again, it's the brain getting used to it. Now, this it's used to pushing me back on the other side. It knows how to stabilize me that way. But now I need to get it back into a position where it knows I'm going the other way. And I need to be careful with how hard I push off. Down and up. Down and back up. Two more. Step out, this time as you push off, bring the foot over the top to the outside. Use the chair. Use the chair if you need it. Back out, pushing off that foot, bring it over and down. This is the hardest one you're going to do because you have to cross body and back. What's going to happen is the foot doesn't come up high enough. It trips on the top of the foot or you go way out front with it and then you start to fall with it. You want to stay right here. Picking that foot up, going over the top, up and out. You're over that stationary leg. Pick the foot up, step to the outside, bring it back, and down. Last one. Up, over, and back. Other side. Take it easy on the first couple. Give the brain a chance to catch up. Let you switch sides. Out, up and over. Whoa. Out. And over, back. Get your stability before you move. Make sure that you're you're stable. And back out. That's not the word I was looking for, but that's okay. Out. I'm right here. I know that both feet are planted. I'm right in the middle. And then bring it back. Up and over. Up and back. Last one behind you. Step back. And out to the side, down in the squat, push up, bring that leg around, and back. All the different ways that that foot could go if you do trip, there's all sorts of different patterns that could happen. We want to try to address them all. 
back and out, push up, push back, and out. Other side, same thing. Step out to the side, drive off that foot, out to the outside or behind the foot, and back, up, back, and down. Practice these. Practice these all the time. And last one. And back down. All right. What's next? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. All right. Down into a narrow stance squat. Push the butt out. Shoulder blades are back. And drive up through in a squat. Real simple, real easy. Butt back. Push. And come up. This time, go down in the squat. Hold there. Pick up one leg. Hold onto the chair on this one. Step back. And in and come up. We're going to switch legs. Down, back with that other foot, in and drive up. What you're going to feel is that stationary leg is going to get all kinds of pressure on it. When you pick the right leg up, all of a sudden that left foot has all kinds of weight on it and back up. Down, other leg out, in and back up. Again, start hovering the hands over. Pick the leg up nice and slow, step back, and in. If you can control this movement, this slow, you're going to have the ability to correct yourself anytime you start moving backwards, shifting back, and bring yourself back to the middle. And up, down, back, up, and back up again. Go ahead and sit down. We worked the quads. We worked all of that. So weight shift, balance with weight shift is something that isn't hit enough, at least in my mind, that we don't practice what happens if you go off to the side, what happens if you get bumped from behind and you start to go forward. Even worse, I've seen all kinds of people and talked to all kinds of people who fall backwards on the back of their head because they're not used to going backwards. The brain doesn't know what to do. As soon as that weight starts shifting backwards, the whole body just goes with it. And what it's got to do is pull you back up to the middle. Can we stretch? Can we do that? Just bring the leg up. Toe, knee, hip, everything's forward. Back down, other side, grab onto the shin, bring it up. Those are some of my favorite classes to do is, is that balance, those kind of balance classes with a lot of weight shifting. It reminds me of being a gymnast. It's the same thing. Having total control over all the muscles in your body to put you somewhere. It's what gymnasts do, but they're much better at it than I am. And back down, up. They got a lot more flexibility too. And back down, come out to the edge of the chair, toe up, shoulder blades back, lean forward, hip hinge, Stretching out the calf muscles, we really did work the legs a lot. It's all we worked. So we really want to make sure we get these muscles stretched out. They're warm. They want to stretch right now. They're going to stretch more than you can get out of them if they're cold. Foot flat on the floor, same thing. Little bend in the knee. Shoulder blades back. Put the weight into the foot as you stretch the hamstrings from above the knee to the butt, to the buttocks. Down. And back up again. Other side, same thing. I really wish more people were here. These kinds of classes are just so, they're so important. Shoulder blades back, toe up. Bring it down. Up. Judy, I know you do a lot of dancing. All of this is what, this is what makes dancing so good. There's movement, there's momentum, there's shifting. Constantly through it. Foot down, little bend in the knee. Coming down. It is so good for teaching you balance. Keeping you safe. Keeping you healthy, too. Just the cardio work that goes into dancing. All right, feet out wide. Arms up over the top. Arm up over the top. Reach to the side. Sits bones, stay flat on the chair. Don't lean out. There's no stretch that happens there. Stretch, arms right next to the ear, and back down. Other side, same thing, up and over. Reach. 
and bring it back in. <clears throat> Excuse me, legs wide, feet following knees out at 45s. Come on down the middle. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out, stretches in the lower back, and it feels so good. Down, down, down. Pushing up through the palms of the hands, bringing the chest up. One more time, take it down. Weight goes into the ball, the foot to the heels. Support it, keep the shoulder blades back, chest out. Push on up. Hands down in front. We're gonna come down, roll the shoulders toward the floor. You don't have to come down very deep. The important piece of this is rolling the shoulders to the floor, feeling the stretch all the way down the spine, upper back, all the way to lower back, into the glutes, hands on the thighs, and bring yourself back up again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Left hand outside of the right knee. Grab onto the back of that chair. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. Rotate. Deep breath in and exhale. Other side. Bring it around, grab onto the back of the chair. Chest out, shoulder blades back. Most important piece of this, keeping the head up. Not letting the chin drop down and back. That's where posture exercises are so important, working the muscles between the shoulder blades. Once the shoulder blades are back, you're always looking out in front of you. Gets the chin up. All right, what are we doing next? What are we doing next? Ah, arm up, leg up. Reach high. Stretch that arm back. And down, other side up. Knee up, nice and easy. Nice and easy. And back down, one more time up on this side. And back, other side up. Bring it back, fingers intertwined, palms up. Stretch out the arms. Roll the shoulder blades back. Don't be leaning forward like I was. And then hands down in front, roll the shoulder blades out. Chin to chest, <clears throat> shoulders out. And bring it in right straight down. Shoulder blades back, chest is out, feeling all kinds of stretch through the forearms, the wrists, fingers. And relax, shake that out two times. We're going to bring the arms up overhead, deep breath in. Stomach out, and exhale as you bring the arms down one more time. In through the nose as you come up. Bring it in through the nose, forces the air down deeper into the lungs. Forcing that stomach out, and then drive or pull the arms back down, let them drop down. Shoulder blades are back. We're good. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. And I will see you on Wednesday. Thanks.